Those have been courageous voices. We've seen them across the United States. Today we have two of those voices, Jim and Anne Marie Parsons, whose uh, daughter Carrie was lost in that violence. And I hope that we can thank them for a moment as representatives of all the voices across this country are finally standing up against gun violence. This bill bans the sale and possession of these devices and authorizes the state patrol to run a buyback program to get them off the street. Now, there's nothing we can do to bring back those lost already to gun violence. But as we've seen in Parkland, Las Vegas, Orlando, Sandy Hook, and closer to home at Freeman High School, Marysville Pilchuck, Seattle Pacific University, Cafe Racer, Muckle Teal, Lakewood, Cascade Mall in Burlington, the Seattle Jewish Federation, and too many of the other locations whose names have become synonymous with tragedy. We cannot sit idly by and take no action. We as leaders and lawmakers have to be judged by our actions, and we need action right now on this scourge. This measure is just one more modest step to prevent gun violence. And you know, some people have said a either this or any other specific or singular gun violence measure will end all gun violence. But we're here to say that it is better to save some than none. And this measure is going to save lives. And I'm glad we're taking this action today. I want to commend the sponsor, Senator Van Der Wege. I want to commend Attorney General Ferguson, Senator Frock, Representative Lori Jenkins, and so many other legislators who've worked on this common sense measure. And with that, I'm going to sign this bill, and we can take another step towards less violence in the state of Washington.